All right, I'm back again. I got bored, so I decided I was gonna come in here and make another video while I just, I don't know, just dig through some of this other stuff. I don't even, in fact, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I would just look at some entertainment. You know, you never know, you never know. Whatever it is, gonna have something to do with technology. Gotta have a little bit to do with technology. You know. Let's see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll look at some of these new um, war bots or whatever. Let me see. Let's see war bots. That's crazy. This will ruin robot wars. Robot. Oh, that's a that's a video game though. I've never seen it. Let me see. I mean, could you? Oh, he's he's lit, lit. Let's see. I mean, could you imagine if technology evolved to this point? Right, this game, this game right here is called. Let me turn this down a little bit. I can't hear myself. Damn. This game is a bunch of mecha bots moving around, blowing each other smithereens. It's like this dude is. It looks pretty fun though. I'm. Like, I, I play games and all that, like most people, like, they grew up in the 80s. Um, this, this game, it looks fun, but I don't know, I don't know. Like, I kind of got out of the first-person shooter, open-world, first-person shooter stuff once, you know, uh, what was it, Fortnite came out. I couldn't, I can't do Fortnite, man. It's like something about dying and waiting so long to load back into the server. I don't have that type of patience. I remember playing like Golden Eye. You die, you pop back up in an instant, and then come back. You know, that's, that's the type of stuff I like. I can play first person shooters like that. Or, or um, was it Battlefield Three? I played Battlefield Three. That was fun. Playing Battlefield Three, um, running through. I, I love that that shipping yard, man. That, that, that was fun. So I could do stuff like that. But it, anyway, back to this this technology stuff. This guy's uh, playing this video game and it has like these huge mecha robots that are just blowing each other to crap. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like they have this. It's, it's, it's a team versus team, but it don't see any team work. Yeah, that makes sense. Just whoever you can see and shoot, you're shooting. That's what I'm saying. Looks fun though. Let me see what else is out here. And if something like that, if they start making war robots like that, man, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Let's see. What else is here? Another one. Like, it's, all this stuff is video. I must have ran into the... I searched the wrong thing. War bots. I probably should have worked. Look for, like, future tech or something. It's the same thing, though. It's like a, some big mecha suits, like... A, um, almost Gundam Wing style. They kind of like the, the that villain robot on the first uh, RoboCop. That's they kind of look like. <clears throat> Looks like they're having fun with it though. Let's see what's this one? Again, same thing. Let me try to find it. Let me try to find it. Let me see. Futuristic. Uh, there we go. Let's see what I get. There we go. This one's futuristic weapons. Oh, wow. That's a creepy looking walk, but I guess that's what we kind of expected. This dude, he looks like Johnny Five with armor. The, the robot looks like Johnny Five with armor, and that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, puppy. Now, this is some technological innovation stuff right here. So, yeah, it's still November 25th. I didn't, um, same day. Um, at this point, I'm just kind of, kind of in the YouTube mood. So, I'm making videos just to make the videos. Um, oh, wow. Oh no, this thing, I thought that thing just moved like someone was inside of it. That's crazy, that's crazy. And it's crazy accurate. That's dangerous, I can tell you that much. 
There's no way I would be, I'd be the one out there testing that robot. <clears throat> Can you imagine that, though? I mean, I know they model these things kind of like after our speech patterns, thought patterns, uh, what, what, what do they call it, brain waves. It jumped over an obstacle. That's pretty. That's a pretty scary situation. It'll, it'll take some human lives out of... Uh, It'll, it'll stop people from dying, I guess, a decent amount of people, some some people. If they send robots in to fight robots, I don't think that'll ever be the case. It'll just be a bunch of money people throwing into the, these war robots and technology and, and um, probably raise taxes, if anything. You know, like, hey, we, we don't have, uh, we're not recruiting humans anymore. You guys got to pay the price. I'd rather, I'd rather. Check this one out. <clears throat> Military robots 2022. These robots can kill the biggest armies in the world. All right, let's see what you got. Because that's a stretch. So, I don't know if you guys watched the Black Mirror show, but this that's this little robot dog that terrorized the main character in that in that particular episode and this does they have one they have one right here the little thing has weapons on it and everything it's firing bullets it's yeah no this was this video was from 2022 so it's not like um most people have probably have already seen that it's kind of real black mirror is kind of scary if you guys haven't watched um black mirror you should check it out if you're interested in the future tech, right? Because it's almost as if, I mean, I guess that's the theme of the show. They take like these futuristic designs or they take these futuristic concepts. Now, like these are the things that could go wrong with technology, technology advancing at the rate that it's advancing, right? So if you take, uh, if you wanted to see kind of the vision some people have in their heads brought to life on video, then check out Black Mirror. That's some wild stuff on there it's pretty pretty good show on, on netflix i think it's on netflix you should check it out all right let's see let's see what this is going to do and these missiles are pretty spooky too like like the precision in which they can fly from miles and miles and miles and hit a single target a missile a missile imagine imagine like like getting under the skin of some government and then they send an entire missile at you like you're standing outside already right there's so many different ways they could take you out and they use a missile i mean i guess it'll be fast it'll be fast all right let me see what else we have here Hmm. So true story, when I was in the military, like um, they have these um, explosive ordnance, ex explosive ordnance device robots, EOD bots, right? And what they, the, the job of it is to go out and pretty much like the title says, dispose of explosive ordinances. So de defusing bombs or whatever. And this remote control, like a big radio shack, um, the uh, remote control car, right? Except the controls are obviously a whole lot more difficult than that. Um, I ain't gonna say difficult, but there's there's more to it. So I got an opportunity to to drive that little thing and and, and move it around. It's it's got a camera on it and all of that. And, I, and I'm I'm assuming that if, if if either of you have flown any of those drones with the cameras on it, which I have not done yet, if you've flown some of those drones with the cameras on it, you kind of understand how fun that could be. But just moving around with the with the little arms, they move slower than I thought it would, but I think it's supposed to, given the fact that it's supposed to be used to dispose of bombs or, or whatnot. But yeah, it was pretty cool. I was I was uh, in Afghanistan, and uh, I was helping out. I, I had helped out um, the uh, EOD unit, and then when we were doing a training exercise, actually, I take that back. That, that's not where I played with it. That's that's inaccurate. We were, we were back here in the United States when I played with that robot. We were just in a training exercise. And um, 
we're in this little um, mock-up village, and um, I got a chance to move, uh, move it around there. That, that's why I see you get that type of stuff mixed up. But we ain't gonna go that route. We ain't gonna dig into all the old war stuff and any of that. Anyway, back to this technological innovations channel that we're about to make. This this video, these videos are old. These are futuristic. Um, this tank is drifting. These futuristic um, weapons. These these things aren't so futuristic. This video was made last year, but the video quality looks like it was probably pulled from like like 2006, seven, sometime sometime around there. You can tell there's nowhere near HD, you know. The quality of the video, I mean, the, the video itself is not bad. The information didn't sound like it was bad. I was talking most of the time, so I can't really tell. But the, the information didn't sound like it was bad, but it's still, um, um, the video quality was a little, yeah. 10 terrifying military bots that really exist. Okay, this is more along the lines of the type of stuff I want to do. This, oh, wow. This, um... Tech company, I mean, this tech channel is like a lot of subscribers, and this is old too. It should come as no surprise that some of the most advanced robots in the world are being built with military applications and play. Yeah, that's always going to be a thing. As soon as you do something like, hey, look, this this robot can do this, and then the military's like, can we weaponize it? Can we weaponize that backflip that that robot just did? They'll, they'll do it. Can we put knives in its shoes? They'll do it, man. I've never seen a miniature tank. I mean... Cool thumbnail, all that. He's got so some of these like they'll trick you. They got like the the, the super cool thumbnails, and you're looking at like, look at this futuristic weapon, and then they may have that weapon in there, but like that's like 20 minutes of dry, dull, dingy looking videos that, and you're not gonna see what you clicked on the video to see. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that if you see future, if you if I show you a futuristic cannon, right? The rest of the video should have things that look like that, look like that. It shouldn't be like, look at this little dingy video that somebody uh, created back in 1987. And then look at this, this video from 2017 or some crap. That's not going to, I want mine to flow properly. So if you, if my thumbnail looks futuristic and it, it shows like some type of concept vehicle, the rest of them are going to be concept vehicles. So that's what I want. I don't want to. I don't want to be misleading. If I di if if you see this video and I don't do that, then reach out to me. Let me know that I said that I was going to do that. So I'm gonna try to correct it. You know, I want it all to flow the same. Now, if I cannot correct it, and I'm as a disclaimer, I'm gonna tell you that if I cannot correct it because there's just not enough content out there, then I will let you know. I will write you back and let you know. Yo, I. I can't do it. That's why I can't find the the videos to do it with without having to pay an arm and a leg for, you know, um, some type of uh, the rights to use some copyrighted material. So that's that's got to be a thing. OK, this this robot has samurai swords. I'm definitely clicking on this video. Did they say oh, Boston Dynamics. This is wow. Oh, this, this robot is doing parkour. And it's extremely accurate when shooting. And you try to push it over, it stumbles just like a. It doesn't lose focus. This thing is special. This is something else. That's a little scary. I'm not going to lie. It's a little scary. Like it's, Okay, so for myself, like I, I love technology, right? But there, there's definitely danger with developing some of this artificial intelligence and um, having these robots go out and fight wars. If anything malfunctions, like so much could go wrong. Now that, but we're not even going to talk about, we're not going to talk about uh, that portion of it. We're going to go back to... Um, we're going to go back to 
the 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 scary part of it as far as um sorry this is a video i'm gonna pause it this is a pretty good one all right so we're gonna go back to okay so if the, if, if these if they develop these these artificial intelligence the artificial intelligence to have these robots running around here fighting wars then what's to stop them from putting them into cities for policing that was kind of where the black mirror episode came in and it was talking about how um how uh well, I ain't gonna say talking about it. it kind of showed what these these little robot dolls could do. They kind of patrol the area, right? And and like I wouldn't want that. I just I don't see myself wanting to live in a world where that's a thing. You know, I, don't, I wouldn't want to do that. <clears throat> this one's pretty good though. I'm, I'm gonna get off of this one because I I'll sit there and watch that whole video. It's not that long. Let's see how killer robots are changing modern war warfare. I've never not once seen a killer robot. Uh, you know what? I've been in the military in 10 years. I just realized that the other day. Somebody told me, hey, I can't believe it's been 10 years. I didn't really like that either. I, my, I hope I hope my buddy sees this video. And I didn't, I didn't really like you reminding me that it's been 10 years. How about that? That was rude. I've already been to this one. Excuse me. All right, what's this? Nope, been there too. All right. Back out of here. Oh, okay. I said I didn't want to make these videos too long. I'm going to stop this and then we'll come back to another one.